Hi, this is Gina with Creative Geniuses Art Program. Welcome to our project today, Bubbles Art. We have a few goals to accomplish. We're going to be brainstorming, thinking about bubbles and this subject in order to make our art. We will be creating our own art tool, Bubble Wand, using some wire and making some beautiful bubbly pieces of artwork. For today's art kit, you're going to need some sketch paper, pipe cleaners, a tablecloth, some art paper, mixed media works great, bubble wrap, some tempera paints, popsicle sticks for stirs, cups, bubbles, and straws. Some other materials you can grab from home that are optional is a pencil, coloring tools, liquid dish soap, and a paintbrush. Let's get inspired today. We're gonna to start brainstorming to get our mind in the mindset of our subject, bubbles. Here is an idea. Name or draw as many ideas as you can about where bubbles come from. When you buy bubbles, it usually comes with its own plastic bubble wand. But here's another idea. Let's make our own bubble wands. Make your own bubble wands by shaping a piece of pipe cleaner. Take one end and bend it about two thirds down. Shape the end into a perfect circle or a heart or any shape you can imagine. Dip the wand into some bubbles and see the different bubble shapes that form. How would you describe a bubble? One word to describe a bubble is translucent. Translucent means you're able to see through the bubble. Bubbles are shiny, reflective, and translucent, which is eye-catching and interesting for artists to use in their work. Natalia Fabia painted Release for her parents about their wedding day. Why do you think she painted this bubble rather than just painting a portrait of her parents on their wedding day? Everett Millay is a famous painter that made this painting named Bubbles in 1886. What do you see? If you were the artist, what would you title this artwork and why? Lastly, let's view the Neil Armstrong photo from 1969. This is one of the most famous photographs of all time. Why do you think that is? Can you find the bubble in this artwork? Today we'll be making our own bubble art. It is a process art, which means the making of the art is just as valuable of an experience as the product or the finished masterpiece. The process is important as the end result because you will be experimenting, exploring, making choices and learning. You may not know exactly how to make each bubble, but you will try new things along the way. Pour bubbles into a cup about halfway. You might have had that from earlier when you did your bubble wand. Drop a few drips of paint and stir using your popsicle stick. Dip a plastic or homemade bubble wand into the colored bubble solution. Blow onto a piece of art paper. When the bubbles pop, they will leave a colored mark on the paper. Superpower your bubble solution by adding a few drops of liquid dish soap. Dawn works great and try blowing with a straw instead of the bubble wands. See the variation, variations using the different tools, solutions, and colors. Be careful doing this though. You want to blow out and not suck that soap in your mouth. Yuck.
Use different colors and different art tools to create big, small, round, and lopsided bubbles. See the patterns and marks they make on the paper. Experiment with some bubble wrap by using it as a stamp. Paint the bubble side and stamp it onto the art paper to make a print. When your artwork is dry, an option is to use pens, markers, and other coloring tools to draw and add onto the paper. Use your bubble paper as art for the wall. You can use it as gift wrap, stationery, origami paper, a greeting card, or any other idea you might have. We hope you had a lot of fun during the process and also maybe you made some few artworks. Maybe not. Maybe you're just playing and having fun. Either way, take some pictures and share your experience either on our Facebook page or email gina at wearecreativegeniuses.com. Other creative geniuses would love to see your work and it would be very enjoyable for you to see theirs. Thank you. We hope you have fun. See you next time for some more projects. Programs are available at www.wearecreativegeniuses.com.